Hey everyone, I want to let you guys know a little bit about the grade split. Um, I know that maybe that's been on your guys' uh, hearts or minds, maybe you guys have heard that, uh, maybe didn't know what or why. Um, first of all, um, uh, kind of we've been having, uh, our groups are growing, um, We ha right now it's combined, kindergarten and first, you know, second and third are combined, fourth and fifth are combined. Um, but one of the things is I feel like we can no longer categorize it as small groups because right now uh, we have like medium sized groups. You have, uh, you know, 20 kids or so. Um, what I would like to do, um, what we're, the plan is so that we're doing is we're going to be splitting up each of those groups so that we would have a, a kindergarten group and we'd have a first grade group. They'd be two different groups. And so um, one of the things that helps us do is it helps us to, first of all, um, uh, connect with a smaller group of students. Um, I feel like as you grow to a certain size, it's hard for us to, to minister uh, to kids, to remember kids, to know them well. And um, or to know when kids are gone or to know when things are happening. So uh, we want to make sure that you guys can focus on a smaller group of students that you can more so personally invest into. So uh, so that'll be happening uh, here shortly. Uh, we're hoping for that to be able to happen in January. Um, and we got some new people, but we also have some people that are um, either taking a break or just different things are going on. So um, we will probably be getting people into new spots, but we'll still have it combined and then with a, a hopes of um, probably in February at some point us uh, splitting all of those groups. And so um, I also have ordered dividers. So we have dividers for the classroom so that they will, uh, it'll kind of separate the space. Because um, like, you know, it's actually a lot of times people think it's audio that kind of throws kids' minds uh, like elsewhere, but it's usually when it's audio, like the things that they hear connected with the things that they see. So if we kind of surround them a little bit, I think that we're going to, we're going to notice that uh, kids are going to be a little bit more focused inside of that small group because we can design the uh, all of the small groups to be in their own little space. And so uh, we will be utilizing um, the room and the gym uh, once we split into uh, uh, six small groups. Um, but you will have an enclosed area because of the dividers that we will that we will have for you. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, some exciting changes that are coming. Um, so yeah, the, in the grade splits, the the reason behind that is I just know that you guys are going to be able to connect better with a smaller group of students that you are consistently investing into. And uh, I just think it's so important for us to uh, to always, as we continue to grow as a church, that we always grow smaller, that we're always uh, being more intentional about the smaller group of people because any one of you, I'm sure that you can, you can point in your life to a leader or to a person who invested into you and that helped bring you along in your faith. And we want to set you guys up for success to be able to do that. Not give you too many kids, but to give you um, the amount of kids that you are going to be able to make a, a, a huge impact in their life. So anyways, that's just something to be on the lookout for. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, and you'll probably see some schedule changes because we are going to be kind of doing that in a phase where we still have it combined, but we're getting people in the right spots and then we will separate here in the near future. So, all right. Thanks, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.